Hey guys, just giving everybody a chance to get in before we get started. So good morning, everybody, on Star Wars Day. May the 4th and the Force be with you. I've got my coffee in hand. I'm about to lead the Republic forces into their final victory. So if you haven't been watching this series, if you're new here, uh, this is the final episode of a fairly long campaign. Um, not as long as our first Republic at War campaign a couple of years ago. But um, is there no sound? Yeah, there's sound. Should be. So we're going to be wrapping it up. We're going to be celebrating Star Wars Day fittingly, bringing victory to the Republic in the Clone Wars in Empire of War Forces of Corruption, uh, Republic at War, the Star Wars Expansion mod. That's the total. I think that's the, the full title, right? Hey, guys. Guys and gals, welcome to the stream. Uh, I started the stream about eight minutes early, so we're going to give it a few more minutes for people to kind of get in and we'll load up. Everything sound okay? Bum, 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 bum. I love the music in this. So, this isn't going to be the last of the Empire at War series, for those wondering and, and been asking for a while now. Like, oh, Shaq, are you just done with Empire at War? No, of course not. I've been playing this game for uh, for the, the life of the channel, basically. Um, we're going to jump in to either Thrawn's Revenge next, or if the, the alpha version comes out, we're going to help uh, Awakening of the Rebellion test their mod. Um, it, it depends on which one is, is prepped and ready to go by the time we want to start the second campaign. Um, we're probably going to end up doing Thrawn's Revenge as, I'm thinking, the New Republic, maybe? I don't know yet. I don't know. We, I kind of want to play as the Empire, too, so I'm a little all over the place. At least one of the Imperial factions. But that's not what we're here for today. Today is going to be all about the Clone Wars era. And uh, this time, this time, bringing victory to the Republic. All right. Let's go ahead and load up the game. Get started. So, if you've never played this, you can find it over on Steam. Uh, you can actually pick up the game over on GOG or Steam. And you can find this particular mod. And there's two Clone Wars era mods right now out that you can play. Uh, Republic at War, which is this one. And then there's the Clone Wars mod that you can find. We'll go ahead and load up our save 37. 37 saves. Good grief. So, welcome back to Republic at War. Let me just turn on all the things for the last time in this campaign. Uh, I don't think we're going to get all the way to the victory screen. We're going to try and get to the victory screen. We've taken over a majority of the galaxy and we've blockaded a large number of worlds, especially these ones in the mid-rim uh, that we have yet to conquer. But to get the victory screen, we have to conquer every single world. And that might be just a bit much, especially with how the balance works in this. Now, we do have to take over um, the last couple of major victories that we need to gain are Mon Calamari. We did take Montuni, uh, knocked out their capital ship production facility here. We got one more capital ship production uh, shipyard that needs to be taken over at Mon Kel. Interesting map set up there. Uh, once we take that, I mean, I guess we can start swinging to the south. We've even got our, our southern fleet here. Obi-Wan's back. I need to send you over with the fleet. Um, we've got quite a bit to do. Quite a bit to do. The music is so quiet right now. There it is. So let's pull in our, our ground forces. We should be building. Let's go ahead and resume. We should be building up a number of... Wow, I was unpaused for all of four seconds. Uh, a number of heavies. We'll probably grab some arcs as well. Let's make sure Kamino is producing clones for us. We're going to need these ground troops. If we're going to have any hope, there's a 212. Get you rebuilt. Um, I don't think just arcs. Just make arcs. All of the arcs. And if you don't have all of your, your ground platforms finished... Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with Heavy Factory, and we'll just keep Rathana building nothing but heavy units. We do have a large army here. Um, did we try to take Rathana at some point? I know they've got, like, a massive ground force of MTTs. These things are super tanky and can spawn B1s. Um, uh, really? Like, every one of their worlds builds the same thing. They've got shield generators, the flak gun defenses, and I bet you anything, every world that we can see on the surface is going to have the exact same thing. Yeah, no, we can't see that anyway, so. All right, then. Let's deal with this enemy fleet. Where are they hitting us at? Raxus Prime? What? How did you get a fleet through there? How did you get a fleet past? They've got one carrier back there. Oh, how dare you? We may have to move this small battle group 
that uh, Yoda was kind of commanding when we took Torban over and smacked this carrier around. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Oh hey, Crichton, I saw that you dropped a donation. Says, um, Crichton says, watch those wrist rockets. And thank you so much for the $10 donation. MJ Tilly donated $3 and says, 327 is a reoccurring number in the Star Wars Wikipedia. 327? Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and auto-resolve this. There's no chance of beating a carrier with a single Arquintans. Uh, good grief. Can you give me a hot minute to give some orders here? They're actually managing to chase our blockading fleets away, and I'm not exactly sure how they're getting ships back here. There are no hyperspace lanes that lead back here, and if I'm not mistaken, we blockaded all these worlds. Mon Calamari, maybe boom, boom, but... Like, how far can you hyperspace? No, you have to go through Axis Prime. Uh, once again, we're gonna auto-resolve. Ooh, he didn't fall back. And we managed to take out a couple of Magna Guard? Random. Random. Ground forces, I guess? Huh. All right, let's take... What the... What's happening? We're under attack again. This time it is is an actual fleet that's under assault. Uh, enemy forces are trying to attack us in the south. Um, I wonder if you were a reinforcement fleet that I just happened to catch out of place. All right, let's begin this battle. They're trying to push us out. So we're actually getting pushed back a little bit. Did I say Torban? Oh, I should have said Corban. There's the Republic fleet. We actually have some um, repair stations or possibly turrets we could set up back here. Um, oh yeah, this is the station where we already built some uh, some up. defenses Droids that they're gonna have to go through. Let's go ahead and pick these up. We'll send a light Corvette over. Corvette Take up position between those two turrets and let's grab those up. Uh, the CIS like to go anywhere regardless of travel lanes. Good grief. Well, that means we're going to have to take out there. Uh, get them. Get them, turret. Knock those droids out. Vulture droids. Hyena droids. No, the tri droids. Uh, we're going to hold our position. We're going to grab up these turrets. I think we had another set of turrets over here. Actually, we've already got a Corvette over there. Oh, Corvette, go ahead and head out. I'd rather use the Corvettes than use the fighters, because the fighters have a habit of chasing after targets. Um, send over the Corvettes, and they'll actually hold their position, allowing us to take these. Dun, 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 dun. Have you tried Call to Arms yet? I have not tried Call to, call to Arms yet. Um, I have seen it. I've seen it on my Steam list. It's uh, It's got a Star Wars mod for it, actually, at least under production. I don't think it's out to the public yet. Uh, it looks pretty cool. You don't know, that's a strategy title that lets you actually take third and first person control over your units in the battle. Uh, they've moved in one of their destroyers. If they don't bring some more support, this destroyer is just going to get wrecked. I'm holding my fighters in reserve in case we need them. Uh, actually, swing through. I am changing my plan there. Let's go ahead and start chasing down those fighters before those bombers get through. Uh, his engines are down, so even if he attempts to run, he's just going to die. I think we can get a little bit more aggressive. Let's make the uh, bring up the Venators up front. They can take a little bit more damage. We don't want the Victory class being our point defense. Let's move our anti-fighter defense up, as well as our jamming ECM system aboard this boat. Uh, what do we got? Acclimator, you can stay where you are. We'll bring up some of the Corvettes, not in the front line, but kind of the midline. See what we can do here. All right, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Let me all tab real quick just to get this set properly. Uh, let's see. Can can you Henson? Thank you so much for the donation. I really do appreciate it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on, boys. You can clear them out. Get out of those buzz droids. Get out of those buzz droids. Lead them in the Corvettes. Yeah, a few of the bombers got through. Or maybe that was the torpedoes from the support ships. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think we've got this in the bag. Let's get this victory class a little bit closer. Let's get these anti-missile defense systems online. Uh, you've got really decent range. Look at those missiles. Beautiful. Let's get you over on the flank. All right, boys. They are they're doing too much damage to our anti-fighter defense. So we're going to pull you back. Book it. Book it, book it, book it. Get behind the line and let our larger vessels take care of business. Let's go ahead and have you start jamming, since we've got some uh, some bombers coming in. V-Wings, get some counter fire there. Are they close enough to, uh, to blast? Yes, they are. Nice, all right, start focusing your fire. You boys, with the, there's a Pelta back there. It's the sneaky Pelta in the back. Yeah, get up here. Get up here. 
Uh, let's take out that carrier's hangar bay, shall we? You guys already take it out. There it goes. All right, no longer concerned about that ship. Uh, you guys are doing all right. How are the support vessels doing? They can quickly take the support out, and I'd rather not lose those. You guys look like you're doing all right. You're doing okay. You're doing okay. Uh, all right, fine. Kill the carrier. Now focus on the hangar bays on these support vessels so we don't have to deal with these enemy fighters coming in anymore. Uh, they do have a couple of turrets down there. Do I, do I care enough to destroy them so they're not here in the next match? In case we do get attacked again? Eh. No, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. He's just, he's just sitting in it. There is a beautiful Space Engineers Acclimator up on the workshop right now I was messing around with. Sadly, I couldn't put one of the ATTEs inside it. Um, I have a particular one that's come up the workshop. I didn't make it, uh, but it just, it wouldn't fit. I wanted to do like a cinematic. Oh, they ran. One of the support vessels actually managed to get away. How dare you? Uh, I do have a stealth ship, but I don't think I have one in this fleet, do I? Oh, I did have one in the fleet. <laughs> I need to start moving that forward. You guys are right. I should move that forward so I can get longer range on the rest of the guns, particularly the Venator cannons. Um, if I can if I can peacefully stealth up in there without risking a ship, why not use it? Uh, ground forces in the core world. Are you guys still building up? You're not building up fast enough. I need so many clones because we've got some auto-resolve battles to do. So give me some saber tanks as well. We got plenty of cash coming in. We might as well grab up some scout walkers as well. Get a nice mix. You guys are looking okay. Wookies. Wookie. I'm just gonna keep training Wookies to join up with the Republic. Um, I need to take this planet out. I need it. Obi Wan, take command of this fighting force here. We're gonna pause it up real quick. Uh, you guys are still falling back. We can rush over and take out. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave. A small force to defend back here with an ISD. You can get a little bit more support craft. Let me give you a Venator as well so you get those extra hangers. Uh, but the rest of the fleet here, you're gonna, you're gonna go, you're gonna go here. Hop, pause it real quick. <gasps> you are in your back. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you're gonna join us for the end. Join up with this fleet and we're gonna have you go carrier hunting once the battle for Mon Calamari is over. Um, and then, yeah, you're gonna go carry hunting at Rax's Prime, and then I'm probably gonna send you north over to Montana. There's probably going to be some fleet reinforcements for you. Uh, let me get those ordered before we forget. Uh, the shipyards, the Quat shipyards should never slow down. Hey, Shaq, you should play KOTOR. Um, Shaq, don't forget to use your anti-air guns as manual firing turrets. They're good against infantry and some vehicles. Very true, very true. Uh, what else are we missing here? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Super battle droids, get down! Potty121 says, well, thank you for the donation, man. Uh, let's get the core of, you know what? Let me get a fleet of acclimators. Let's mix it up a little bit more. Uh, we need to get some support ships too, but for some reason, I can't click forest. Weird, there's like a strange bug going on. Uh, I wanna get some anti-fighter support as well, building out, so let's get you going. I can't click on Alderaan either right now. All right, Mon Calamari, let's do this fight. Oh. Did I just pull somebody out of the command slot for this? Oh, I hope not. Oh, I hope not. And begin the battle. Cat Dog says, hey Shaq, I am off to work for the day. Happy May 4th and have a wonderful day, my good Sarah. Well, thank you for the $5 donation and the kind words. There are three, wait a minute, what? Hypervelocity cannon just hit the pride of the core. Um, crap. This isn't good. That took out the shield in one blast. All right, this is gonna be a costly battle for the Republic, but we've got to win this. All, all V-Wings, move up. Your orders are to attack, move. Find targets of opportunity and take them down. All Venators, I need you to push to the front of the fleet. We've gotta win this battle fast. We gotta win this battle real fast if we're gonna save the pride. She's taking way too much damage. Give me all of our, there they are. All of our arc fighters. I'm already another shot? How do they already get a second shot? Holy crap, all right, at least the hull damage is, is minimal. Is minimal so far. Uh, you guys are the first to come through. Give me a bombing run on that shield generator. You're already locked and loaded and you've managed to get through the enemy fighter. There's the torpedoes. 
It's a good shot. It's a good shot. Rest of the arcs are in route. We're going to have you take out the... I want to take out the shield generator and start working on the actual space station. Check the health on that ship. How's our, our engines? We only got one block for engines on this ship? Really? Really? There are carriers with three separate engine blocks. It's firing again. This Mon Calamari must be locked down with nothing but freaking hypervelocity cannons. We're taking more damage. We got hull breaches on all decks, and that's a lot of friggin' decks on that ship. Venators, I know I've got you at all, like, a head full right now. I need you to get up there quickly. Quickly. Right of the core. You're in firing range, so start firing. Arcs. Get up here. Get up here. Some of the battle group has managed to get through. Let's get you on that shield generator so we don't have to sit there and let it tank the fire. That's why I sent you in first. High risk. I'm ordering you all to go for it. And if you've already taken it out... Nope, you haven't taken it out. Go for it. Oh, they're all dead. Damn it. Wait, wait. Two squadrons survived. Torpedoes are away and the shields are down. Check the health on it. We're down to 50%. Oh, man. I mean, we have to take the planet anyways. And honestly, that would have been a lot of lost Venators if we hadn't done it this way. Keep pushing through, though. We're going to break through. Oh, the poor pride of the core is going to go down. We have the resources to rebuild the ship. I just would rather not. All right, let's get the right-hand flank firing at this carrier. Take them out. Overload the guns. Go after the um, the hangar base if you can get in range. Actually, you've got the longest ranged gun, so you reach out and touch somebody. Come on, hit him. She's firing again. Brace for impact. Damn, I wish I could switch the target. How, how Retreat and regroup. What would be the point of retreating and regrouping? We are still grouped. It's just they have the better defenses. We have to go in. We're going to lose the pride of the core, but we're taking the last capital ship world. I think it's worth it. We're going to go in for it. The pride will fall. I'm waiting for the last velocity cannon shot. Unless they're willing to retreat, I don't think it's going to happen. And we still haven't taken out this carrier. We still haven't taken out this space station. How are we doing? She's got... Oh, not much health left. All right, all Venators. All Venators and fighters on this side. You've got to go after their main attack ship if we're going to have any chance of them falling back. She's firing again. Here it goes. No! Oh, my God, it's got just an... It, she's got no engines either, so fire all cannons. Take out the carrier. Rest of you fighters. I need half of you finding targets. Ooh, this is going to hurt. So imagine what this just did to the Pride of the Core, right? Now that's going to happen to the rest of the fleet if we don't hurry up and kill these guys. Let's get the rest of our ships up to the front line. I don't know why that one has decided to turn around, but that was not the plan. Another carrier is down. Did it fire? No, the core is still alive. The core is still alive. Star Destroyer over on the right-hand side. You're looking pretty good. Take out the ship. Maybe we can get them to retreat if we knock their numbers down far enough. Um, why hasn't it fired and killed the pride? Like, I'm just waiting for it. Everybody's waiting for that last shot. We all know it's coming. Fire. Everything you've got. Fire. Uh, she's still alive. Bring up the victory classes. Start taking out those fighters. If Maybe they can't see it. Maybe it's out of firing range. That would be strange. Overload your guns and start taking out these enemy fighters. we got to start knocking them down. How goes the enemy space station? Eh. Nope. There it goes. No, that was one of our uh, Venator's spat cannons. I'll take that. I'll take that. Fighters, engage. Cut them apart. Cut them apart. How has it not fired yet? I'm just keep looking at the pride because I'm just waiting for it to die. All right, Star Destroyer, I know that you're taking out these bulwarks, but you really need to take out the space station. That's the real key. Overload your guns. Give me another blast. Taking out the space station will definitely... What, the pride is still alive. Everything you've got into the space station. Venators, how are you doing? Space station now. Okay, actually, take out the... No, space station. Check it, check it. It's still alive. She's actually starting to take fire from this destroyer. Take him down. The Pride of the Core is nearly dead because there's a hyperspace velocity cannon on the uh, planet's surface. Get you guys up here. And it's been stomping rounds into us this entire time. we got to make sure that no fighters break through or we're going to be in big trouble. It doesn't have much health left. You, stop moving. Don't go anywhere. You guys, any ship that even looks general direction at the Pride. We have taken out the space station? Not yet, not yet. There is a Providence in the back? Oh, that's that's not good. 
that's really not good. We can get another... Right, is still alive. It still hasn't fired. Is it switch targets, maybe? This Star Destroyer gives no shits. Move up, move up, move up. This is the first time that they've effectively used a hypervelocity... Oh, every time one of my Venators fires off its its larger cannon, I get really, really nervous. Thinking it's one of the hypervelocity cannon blasts. Oh my god, it's got no health left! Oh, a stray torpedo! One of the clones could sneeze and this thing would explode. Overload your cannons. We need everything nearby dead. Like, now. Do it now. There, there, there. That. That needs to die. It's getting a little too close to the pride. If it switches targets, good thing it's shooting at that victory class. Hold the line. Keep the pride of the core alive. Throw everything we've got into that ship. Space station's got to be dead, right? It's not dead yet? Doesn't anybody have any missiles left? Keep firing at this. Oh. Oh, Mr. Pringle Chips, thank you for your donation. He says, uh, it's not the pride of the core if there's no core. The core is fine. The core worlds are fine, unless you're talking about, like, the ship itself is missing its core, which I believe. All right. No! Really? Really? I take out the space station. Oh, there she goes. And the pride of the core breaks up in orbit and falls to the planet down below, Mon Calamari. The remaining clones are going to rally and throw everything they've got at this last Providence class. Star Destroyers. Actually, there's still a destroyer right here. Wreck him. We got so close. We got so close. Overload your cannons. See, I want all of you larger ships to start firing at this, except for you start taking out those enemy fighters. The enemy is attempting to retreat. Let's make sure we focus on those engines. No hyperspace engines means no escape. Bay! He's got engines still. Fix it. All units, focus fire. Duh! He got away? He got... We will find you. We will hunt you down. And we will turn you into paper clips. That was a painful battle. That was just a mad rush to save the pride. But that was the last of the capital ship facilities the Separatists had. Ah, oh, man. What happened where it was firing, firing, firing? Like, almost no recharge on it. And then it got to that last shot. It was like, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna taunt you and sit there. All right, return to the galactic map. We've got a few more planets that need to be uh, locked down. We have the fleet with Yalaren that needs to wrap up some stuff. So you're gonna go hunting, Yalaren. I don't have a lot of support vessels with you. That makes me a little sad. Let's grab this up. You having four. We're moving out. Darren says, I finally caught a live stream. Well, hey, man. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's move you over there to support you, Lauren's push. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good time for the uh, May the 4th be with you. Solus Fenris, thank you for the two. Uh, you took out... You took out, taken out the relay, silencing the gun. You could, you took out, taken out the relay, silencing the gun. Um, I could have taken out the relay. Oh, you're talking about the actual cannon on the surface? I mean, I could have tried to do a raid and take out the cannon, but um, we were engaged. We were, I, I didn't get the pride not to use it, so. Hell, we can even start rebuilding it, can't we? Maybe not, actually. Let me re pause, unpause it. Um, no, potentially no, there's no, uh-oh. Everything's frozen. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't tell me. Da -da. I mean, I could have taken it in smaller. Yeah, I'm, I'm like frozen up. That's not good. There she goes. Pause. All right, Yalaren's carrier hunting fleet. Do I want to bring Yoda into orbit? I'd have to move the whole ground force into orbit. We're not going to do that. Uh, you did get your reinforcements, right? You got your acclimators? Yeah, that'll give you some some cheap fighters, but fighters nonetheless. Uh, let's give you a command unit. I guess it'll be an acclimator. Let's go ahead and do... Oh, it's really choppy right now. There's the reinforcements. Come on. 
I don't know why the game's decided that it's gonna have a fit right now. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, tonight is the Arma 3 Star Wars Community Night. Um, that's gonna be a stupid amount of fun over on the Discord. I don't know all of the events. I don't know the story or anything like that. So it's gonna be a big surprise to me what's happening. Uh, do we have any ground forces on here we need to move out? We do. Let's go ahead and get these artillery, some more heavy armor. Let's get you joined up with the uh, the ground forces. The wheel is under assault. I'm assuming from Jabim, which we still need to take on. Uh, let's see. Squishy, thanks for the $1 donation. Appreciate it. Uh, Christopher Jones, love this playthrough. Looking forward to the next one. Keep uh, me entertained through chemotherapy. Well, I'm happy I could do it. I know how rough that is. I know how rough that is. My mom went through chemotherapy. Uh, a couple of times, so been there. Uh, I, I hope the it's not too rough on you. Really do. Uh, rest in peace, the surface of Moncal. Oh yeah, it, I mean, it either it hit the ground or it's now this orbital wreckage field with the pride of the core broken into pieces. Could you imagine how long rescue efforts would take to unload a ship of that size? All right, we're fighting over the wheel. Let's go ahead and begin. We do have a defense fleet here. We need to knock over. We need to knock over the space station that they're coming from. We don't, they don't need to have any kind of rally point left. Go ahead and begin the battle. Or at the very least, blockade the last couple available. of um, stations that they've got. Reinforcements. We got two Dreadnought class ships and a Venator here. Interesting. So, fun thing about the uh, Awakening of the Rebellion. I'm voicing a character in it. And it is a character in command of a Venator. Um, so that's why I'm so excited to play. I'm actually in it. Oh, it's like, it's the best thing ever. Having been playing Empire War mods for so long and now I'm in one. I mean, I'm already in my favorite Star Trek mod for um, Sins of a Solar Empire. I did a voice for that too. It's so great. It's, I just, duh. Come on guys, get, get those fighters off those bombers. Save those arc pilots. All right, let's get the Venator moved up. And move the support fleet around the left-hand side. Da -da 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 How are you doing? Overload your cannons and open fire. Probably should move the Dreadnoughts up as well so we can stop most of these missiles that are coming in and causing us so much trouble. Uh, we have full research on this planet, so that's not going to be really a problem. Let's turn you guys off of auto-use, and I will manually tell you when to use your laser defense system. Come on up. Come on up, come on up. I wonder if anybody's made a dreadnought in Space Engineers. It's definitely a design you could potentially do fairly easily. All right, point defense laser's active. We can defend the space station as well. Uh, let's get you just firing at him. You firing here. You hold your position, don't get too far away. Uh, I feel like you've gotten good work done. Let's take out the carrier hangar. Shouldn't take more than a couple blasts from those heavy cannons of yours. Nice, hold position every time I do that. Take out his engines before he gets away. He may try to run from this. All right, our Quintons, our Quintons. Um, acclimator move up. Da -da -da -da. Looking good. Looking good. Fighters are taking out. Oh, come on. You should never have let him fire. There we go. He should never have gotten that ordinance off. Did you lose your shield generator? If not, I want you to hold back until you get it back. Let's get this um, acclimator up there. He's got the extra shields. There we go. Get on up there. I'd love to see, if they ever do another Empire War, I'd love to see some of the other features of these ships play into how how the tactics work. Like the Acclimator, right? It, it's an assault ship, it's in the name, but it you never use its carrying capacity. Like, it, what it really is, is an army transport vehicle, right? This thing is huge. That hangar bay on the bottom is massive. I'd love to see that. Where it's not just about how you use your army, it's how you deal with the logistics of your army. And having that kind of like, oh, I'm gonna build Acclimators. They're not the best assault ship ever, but they're great. Let's go ahead and start up pursuing now. They're great at transporting large groups of uh, armor and infantry in the battle. And that'd be really cool to see. That'd be really cool to see. I love it when they show logistic side of games. 
part of that, like, empire management or fleet management. We were talking about this with the, um, uh, that MechWarrior mod that I just spotlighted yesterday. Uh, can't think of the name of it now off the top of my head for some reason. Um, Living Legends. Where I have a reason to go back and, like, repair my mech, and it actually costs a certain amount of resources, and you've got to take over those mech bays to repair them. You know, just a little bit of the logistics sides of things, actually worrying about ammunition and all that. It's kind of cool. What are we missing here, guys? All right, fighters, go ahead and uh, spread out. Locate the, the last remaining enemy targets. Let's find and destroy them. They try to take our, our world. They keep hitting this plant. Don't you know this plant's full of nothing but veterans? Clone War veterans. Check. Thrawn's Revenge 2.2 and Empire has the Eclipse. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's some fun stuff in there, for sure. All power to the engine, sir. All right, move up. People in chat are talking about Dawn of Worlds and Apocalypse. That hasn't gotten its update yet, has it? I've been waiting for that Empire War update for a long... I feel like a long time, but maybe that's just my impatience. There we go. We've got one target to the south. And he's destroyed. The Sector is ours. Hello, Buzz droids. Bum. And pause it quick. We need to plan our counterattack. We've got Boss Pity, the Maw, Kessel. We're about to make a run for Kessel. Uh, we are hunting down that carrier, and we need to go take... Uh, mm, do we have another fleet just hanging out? I thought we did. I thought we had another fleet we were using to support, like... Right, wow, we have emptied all of these worlds of all of their ground forces for the invasions that we did to take these. Hmm. Not really. I mean, we've got we've got a small fleet over Ryloth right now. Which I, I guess we could do a ground invasion? Maybe. Is the, maybe when the 212 is done, we'll gather all these guys up, including our um, our heavy armor that we produced so far. Uh, yeah, you got a bit more to work on. Hmm. Bum, bum. Remember the pride. I can't rebuild it either. That's the real pain. I thought we could rebuild it. Nope. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, it is not on this list. You get it once. Don't screw up. You get it one time. I'm glad we lost it at the end of the campaign and not the beginning. I'd never hear the end of it. Which is kind of weird because nothing else is permanent. Nothing else is permanent. Can we mine the crap out of Korriban? Building I feel like that should be a thing. Building started. Wait, what? Oh, those are our heavy ground troops. We've just got ground troops sitting here waiting to go. Let's... I, we should push for Jabim. We should take... Not this fleet. This is one of the blockade fleets. We should take... We should leave... Oh, man. We don't have a lot to leave behind, either. We need reinforcements. We need to recombine these two fleets again. They can't be separated like this. We'll leave a Pelta here. Yep, well, all right. Here we go. There's... What? Excuse me? Shaq, you lost, this, talk about deja vu, you lost the part of the core the same way you in your previous series. Really? I don't remember that. I mean, it's been two and a half years since that last series, or something like that. It's been a long time. They've already got a space station and what looks like a massive support fleet around this world? And a carrier? What? How? How in the world did you build this? You insult, you hit this planet with one carrier. Maybe it's ground forces. Maybe they've been building up ground forces from somewhere. We do have reinforcements we can bring in. I'm a little hesitant to do so until we've got a little bit more intel. So, Yolarin is waiting for information. I know in one of the campaigns I played, I, this might have been the Clone Wars mod before I ever streamed it, or recorded videos for it, but I lost the... Um, it might have been Republic of War. I lost the pride to a fighter squadron. <laughs> like a bunch of fighter squadrons. Because I didn't have that support fleet. Alright, clear them out. You guys can clear that, that fighter squadron out. Alright, now get out of the buzz droids. If he wants to chase, let him chase. Look at him. How quickly they'll take out a squadron. Come on, boys. 
Really? How did he get two uses? That's my question. How do you get two free uses of that OP ability? Ah, rage. All right, let's see what they've got. Is it just fighters? I mean, so far, I'm not super impressed. We're gonna bring an acclimator in. I just need more sensor range. A little bit of anti-fighter support just to chew him up. Uh, our second acclimator is moving up. You're in laser range? Oh, and you've already lost your shield. All right, I think we're I think we're in for this. Better to move up. That'll give us a better sensor range. We can knock out that anti-fighter support there. You go ahead and pull back. No reason to lose you. They lose their shield so do it so fast, so fast. Uh, we don't have any anti-missile systems. That's a little sad. Go ahead and push forward. M yeah, maybe those were ground transports. I thought I saw a bunch of dots on the radar. <laughs> Their turrets just killed that fighter squadron. Lovely. All right, let's make a run for it. Arcs, there's only two of you for now. Bring in more. We'll bring in more. Let's start taking them on. Yolaren, come on into like the middle of the fleet. Uh, if it lets you. There we go. We'll start pushing you forward. You, come in the back here. Get up here. There we go. All right, time to get this fight rolling. Torpedoes are away. Hopefully on target. Two full blasts is enough. Yes, it is. And take out his engines. And I want you to go after his hangar base if you have the opportunity to do so. Get it done. Dun, 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 dun. And now let's bring in. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bombers. Hard to port, boys. Chew them up. Get those hyena bombers. Let nothing break through. All right. Now that we've got them cleared out, let's bring in some of that artillery support. Ooh, you're in firing range, aren't you? That's a little closer than I meant to be. But that's okay. It's okay. We could really use, I don't know, some anti-fighter support right here. Carrick, fighters, engage. Somebody fire. Get some more support ships up here. We need to clear them out. Okay. Clear that carrier out of the way. Peltas. You know what, Peltas? Come on over here. Reinforcements We're gonna bring in a small support battle group right there. Let's knock out that donut. There should be two of you guys. Where's the other one? Where, where is the other one? Oh, he's like in the thick of it. All right, well, I'll give you that. I was gonna complain you were too far out of the fight, but all right, let's overload your weapons. Take out those fighters. Nothing survives. You hold position here. Don't go anywhere. Let the rest of the fleet take this out. Uh, now, if they did have, that's why I brought you guys in. If they did have transports, I need to know about it. Hunt and find. I need some scouts. I'm taking you out of your arc. Woo! That space station is done. I was hoping to see ground transports. But I may have been wrong. Well, maybe it was just turrets everywhere. Yeah, it was just turrets everywhere. We have eaten the donut, as chat likes to say. The planet is ours. Well, the orbit of the planet is ours. I think it's time Yoda came over here and kicked the crap out of somebody. Let's get your space station online. Under construction. Oh, it is so laggy right now. Recon unit operation, sir. Right away, General. And then once you arrive, we're gonna move the fleet up here. Yalaren, take out the last fleet. Where? The Roshi asteroid. Where was that asteroid? Here. Really? Local reinforcements. I could get you a couple of anti-fighter characters. Eh, eh, not really all that useful. You've got to be coming from Boy's Pity. Boz Pity. Hmm. Not really worth, not really worth deploying anything there. They'll never make it in time. The game lags in mourning of the pride of the core. <laughs> Jarn, really, really, uh, all right, let's... I kind of want to start my first ground invasion. We've got a lot of planets to take over. Like, what's going on down in the south? Not a whole lot. 
We need to prepare for... Oh, we've got a whole fleet here. Just waiting. If we could just free these. Hmm. All right. Training troops. Give me a bunch of clones. Training troops. All you worlds to the south, if you can build any kind of armor, any kind of troops, let's get them built. And we'll start taking these plants so we can pull these ships off of that off of that line. Uh, as for you boys, you're about ready to begin the invasion. Is there anything else we want to bring over here for support? Uh, a fleet would be nice. <laughs> we could have bombing runs. Hmm. But they're leaving right now. All right. Prepare to invent to defend the asteroid belt. Unless they make it there fast enough. I'm gonna let them bounce over here. We'll take out there. Yep, here we go. Here goes the ground fight or the uh, space flight. That fleet was for trench. Well, we're gonna take that planet. That's what we need to do. The planet that he spawns on. I'm thinking if we take the planet over, he won't spawn anymore. Reinforcements available. Heads up, droids inbound. Okay, let's not spam chat. Ready for orders. Can bring it at your disposal. What are your orders? Yes, sir. We have defended this asteroid many times. Reinforcements en route. That's a cool camera angle. <laughs> right underneath the venator. Are you all position here? We will let them come. I read you, General. Yes, sir. We've got I read you, General. Yes, General. Yes, sir. Uh, Arcs, hang back. I'm going to keep you in reserve. I was going to say, how is he still alive? Yes, sir. I read you, General. It's not looking good, sir. He can spawn at any friendly planet. All right, well, I need to chase him out of the mid rim. That's what I need to do. I need to take the rest of the mid rim planets. If we're gonna just like win this, win this. Now the, the real victory condition for me is if we take over every production facility in space, they can no longer, they have no, they have no chance, right? Oops, camera's being buggy. But we'll try to get the victory screen today. I don't think we're going to though. All right, that's what they've actually got. We've got weapons already in range. Go ahead and open up, support fleet, fall back, get behind the Main line, that way you're not just getting sniped from halfway across the map like you are right now. Yeah, pull out of there. Pull out of there. Now, a free battle group that we do have is back here with a Dreadnought, really? Okay. Uh, we are going to send you straight in. Our space station is under attack. Arcs, let's go. Holy crap, guys. Chill with the pride of the core, chatter. Seriously. It's just one ship. It's not that big a deal. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We still have the majority of the fleet. For the Republic! Oh, it'll be nice to be out of these same, same battles. Like this asteroid belt. Okay, that is a lot of bombers. If you guys could just, you know, throw a bunch of bolts that way, that would be lovely. We need to take these turrets. That's what we're going to do. Where's my free little battle group? Except for that Venator. I don't think he was a free unit. We're going to move up. We're going to take these damn turrets. They keep coming after us over here, and they keep owning these defense turrets. It'd be hilarious to have missiles on there. But I think they outrange them every single time, so they end up just getting getting destroyed. Uh, we've got this in the bag, so let's overload all of our firepower. Rest of the fleet. Get up here. So, yep, today at 4 Eastern Time. Yeah, yeah, it's 4 Eastern Time. That's what I've got on my notes. Um, we're going to be doing... We're going to do a stream of it. I'm going to stream it here on the channel. We're going to be playing Arma 3 Star Wars mod. 
in celebration of the 4th. Uh, the community has put it on. I don't know what the story is. I don't know what the, the mission objective is going to be. The last one was pretty cool. It was like four days before they ended up updating the mod to run a bit smoother. Um, do we not? No, oh, we didn't manage to actually get to them in time. And they're always dead by the time I actually get to the turrets. Reinforcements en route. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Okay, we are going to stop them from coming toward that asteroid. That's it. Boss Pity, you've got to go down. We've got to destroy that, that, that rally point. So, first things first, clear them out of the back line. Let's get an invasion army ready for these worlds. Uh, we should have quite a bit ready, actually. Yeah, we've got armor here. Rendell's got armor for us. I think what we're going to be missing is clones. We should have some arcs from you. There we are. Wow, they, that's a huge stack. Where are these, get, where are they getting these stacks from? They only controlled that planet's, a, <laughs> they only controlled that planet, unless those are ground forces. They may very well be. They only controlled the orbit of that planet for like, unpaused 20 seconds, maybe? Give me, Give me something to scout with. This war. One, battle One fighter time. squadron, just, yes, just get up there. Let's find out what they've got. Normally, Subnautica would be on Fridays, at least until the uh, you know we play through the whole thing. But today is May the 4th, and I thought it'd be fun to get on and finish up the campaign for Republic at War today instead. So, Subnautica is on hold today. Uh, really? Really? Here, how about I come out of hyperspace with something a little bit beefier if you want to eat my fighters? It's just one-shots everything. I love it. Go ahead and give him the cannons. Come on, before he gets away. And then you gotta get the picket. Picket's a little harder to hit. There we go. Oh, hi. Let's go ahead and take you two out, the Magna Guard, right now. What? They got through the fire of two Carricks? Holy crap. No, nah, let's not get the entire fighter fleet chasing them. We don't we don't need that many. Come on back. I don't know where they're going. But wherever they're going, it needs to be the scrap heap, actually. Chase them. Chase them. They'd probably kill us if they'd re-engage. But nope, we're just going to chase them down. Okay. They must be ground forces. They must have pulled their ground forces off the planet. Because um, that's all we seem to be running into. Let's get another Venator. A little bit farther. Sensor range. There should be space station right here. Yalarin, come on in. Leading from the front. And begin the siege of the space station. If we can get, if we can get sensors on it, that would be lovely. Go for the shield generator. Uh, yeah, you're fine. I even bring in a couple victories just to wrap it. Good googly moogly! What in the world? What's What carried all of those bombers? That's insane. Oh no, don't go toward those. Don't go toward those victories. Whoa, camera, not the time. I need some fighters up here like right now. Oh, ah, there they go. Torpedoes are away. A few more support ships. Take out those bombers. Wow, if they would have actually gone in and hit us, it would have been something to see. All right, let's take out the hangar base. Let's make sure that doesn't become a thing again. The damage would have been real. As soon as those fighters are down, we can even bring a few more support ships in. They've all got torpedo launchers. We might as well use them. Peltas, come on in the back. Still not convinced what the pelt is good for that other ships don't already do. You know? Like, you don't really need them to, like, what they say they're good against, you don't really need a pelta to kill those. Basically, all of your main ships of the line can kill those just fine. Without any, without while well, having like four times the health and survivability. 
I know in the story it was always like a medical carrier, kind of like the Nebulon B, maybe a little bit of point defense, but mostly a logistics cruiser. Um, personnel cruiser, that kind of thing, with enough armor to, in case they end up ending, ending up in battle on accident, they can survive it. That was bomber hell. It's like 16 squadrons. I don't, I think one of them fired. Uh, and that was it, that was the last unit. All right. I think my radar is just lying to me. Oh no, that's what we saw at the beginning, which is a thousand bombers. 29 droid bombers. They got a space station, they were like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just sit here and build droid uh, uh, hyenas for days. Okay, the planet, the, the orbit is ours once again. Thank you, now, now stay ours for friggin' five minutes, would you? Um, does a Star Destroyer count as orbital support for fighters and bombers in this? It's been weird, because I thought a Venator did, and then it didn't. And all I got was the orbital blast, but not the bomber support. So, I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna move you, I'm gonna move Venator two of you Venator. over here. I want orbital support for the ground invasion. We're actually gonna fight that ground invasion. I think it'll be fun. Uh, especially with the mix we've got here. We've got a full division. We've got a bunch of arcs. Uh, we don't have a lot of armor, though. Really? Yeah, we've got zero saber tanks. Um, I'm gonna pull the armor. I am so cocky. I'm gonna pull the armor off of here. And... The famous last words. I'm actually gonna pull the armor off of these worlds as well. Though you're never gonna make it in time. Ready for battle, sir. Uh, we gotta take these two planets. We're I want that. Battle, We're ready for battle, sir. We're ready for battle, sir. Uh, wait, what? Wait. What? Qu question? That's coming up blue. That's coming up hostile. Why are there three clone squads, uh, scouts, and a, uh, what? Coming up hostile on a place that I have no space stations. Oh, okay. Are they about to invade my planet with clones? I wonder if that's why it got buggy. If this is a counselor ship, then where is the ambassador? Uh, oh man, okay. We were building up a ground invasion force, but now I'm, I'm a little confused by what's going on over this world. We're gonna go after Bestoon. Gather up some forces here. The men are ready, General. The men are ready, General. Well then, go ahead and move in. Corellian ground forces, and he can join up as well with the Corellian defense force. At the same time, I think it's time to begin our invasion. Did you get your sabers? Got a saber tank. That's it? We got one saber in this battle? You make me sad. The clones are prepared to order execute Order 66. If it was an option and we could continue to play through like the entire um, canon timeline, I'd be down with it. I'd be down with it, but no, this is all about bringing the victory to the Republic. Uh, you do have sabers coming in. I guess I'll wait. Hurry though. Ready, Hurry, sir. Yoda. Yoda, I want you to go in first. I've had mixed, battle, mixed sir. results in Republic at War with ground invasions in this campaign. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's it. I mean, they'll have defensive structures and all that, but, uh, really? The sad music plays, execute order 66. All right, Yoda. I need I need you to give me eyes. Let's see what we're what we're looking at here. Um, we have scrap in the air, floating scrap. Maybe it's in orbit. We have a. Uh, it, it's oh there it is shield generator. It's hard to see in all the scrap. A lot of something. Fuel canisters. Holy crap! Got enough armored assault tanks. You got, you got enough of those? You Maybe a couple more? Oh, no, yeah, no, you don't have enough of those. You needed just a handful more. Um, okay, that's a lot of armor. So, what is that? Okay, 
I guess that's a thing. And we do have orbital bombardment, but it doesn't look like we've got a bombing run. Unless it hasn't, it's just not charging it. What are we gonna bring in to counter that? Let's bring in, well, some ATAPs are always nice. What's our build? Cap five, not too shabby. Um, I would do artillery, but it's a little crap compared to the, uh, the amount of health that those tanks have. So I'm probably, I'm thinking maybe some heavy weapon squads or some lats. Heavy weapon squads. Okay, apparently there's some some units already here. Hi, hi guys, how's it going? Hmm, could bring in Delta or some Wookiees. And eh, Delta's probably a better choice because then we can do the ping ability too. There's no other points? Oh, I can head south and grab that point actually. You know what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some expendable clones. Hate to say that, but that's why I'm spawning them in. I'm, I'm bringing in clones so they can eat some of the damage that's gonna come from that while we move the other weapons in range. Uh, proper weapons, so we can see. Come on, boys. There we go, scrap them. Yoda. Actually, Yoda, I can just have you take point. Are there any turrets? Cause if I can just hold this with turrets. Yo, to wreck face. Get him, boys. The walking carpet. Don't, don't talk crap about my Wookiees. Wookiees are awesome. I wish I could build the Wookiee transports. Now that would be cool. All right, let's grab our little fighting force here and start heading to the south. I want to grab up this other drop point so we can get a, a larger build cap. For the Republic. We're moving up. I kind of want Yoda to jump up on top of the mech and just sit there. He's got little stubby legs. It's weird that he walks. You guys are getting way too far ahead from the rest of the fighting group. Let's just hang out here and wait. I don't know why you've decided that you don't need to be part of the convoy. Or why any of you aren't walking together. You see Yoda? What if I give them attack move orders? Will you guys walk together? It's a good time to give them that order. Battle droids, just a handful. Yoda, I'm a little nervous about all that armor. You wanna give me a quick sight beyond sight? Uh, Droidicas are rolling through, more battle droids. It looks like multiple units are heading, ooh, that camera angle, to the south. Our artillery is very confused. You heavies can take them out. No, 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 hold, 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 hold. Scratch that, everything I said to you was a lie. Everybody, stop. Hold position, clones, go take point. Oh, you're already taking it. No, that's why I didn't want you to go in. I wanted Yoda to go in. He can actually deflect the rounds. We're gonna lose our artillery unit now. No, did he actually take that out? Almost, move up. He did, he took it out. All right, clones, you do what clones do best. Scrapping droids, get to it. We hold here. I don't know how we got one of those mechs to survive that, that fight, but right, take cover because we're gonna be here for a hot minute. Deal with that. He just needs one hit and he's down. Yoda, get it done. Heavies move in. Let's capture this. It's a three cap build limit. Heavies, give me some rockets. There we go, that's what I like to see. We lost our armor though, we lost our armor. Uh, we're right next to their shield generator right here. We could probably just make our way up with a couple of sabers and knock that out. Mr. Russian guy, sorry that I missed your donation from earlier. You said, hey Shaq, glad I caught the stream the day of my graduations. Well, congratulations on your um, graduation. I loved watching this series during senior year. May the fourth be with you, Captain. And may the fourth be with you. Um, Yoda, sit, sit up there. It's really, what do I wanna bring in to support you? Uh, and part of me just wants to bring in a legion. Not the best use of my Hmm. The art, the tanks that they've got can actually shoot up at uh, at lats. They've done it in the past. Sabers aren't too great against them one on one. They they just can't take the hits. You'd have to do hit and runs with them. So I'm thinking, got some heavies. I could bring in Delta, but they're not great against armor either. To be honest. As long as they don't get run over, that legion would be fine. Uh, all right, here's what we'll do. We'll do a legion because Yoda leading a legion of clones makes me happy. Um, 
I kind of lost the two units that would have been best for it. I'm trying to get a shot from underneath the acclimator as it drops off troops. Yeah, we'll bring in some sabers. So they can have the rocket cover. Should be enough. Should be enough. Alton Fincher says, the clones are prepared to execute order 65? No, 66. Yeah, I already read that one. Drop troops. Use lats to go over the shield generator. Combat is a clone's How do we go Combat. over our cap? Come, come. Come, come. <clears throat> All right, boys. We're going to leave gonna be two, four fight. squads here. General. We're going to march the rest Mission. in with Yoda. Okay, We're going after the shield generator. Sabres, you'll be giving yes, close support Combat to the rest of the clones. Go ahead and head up. Don't go ahead of the group, though. And we're rolling. <laughs> they do have a turret, actually, so hold position here. Ready, Yoda's gonna scout ahead. Be there, I will. You seek Yoda? Da, 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 da. Go, go, go. Okay, he's got it locked down. The rest of the clones move up. Especially you heavies, I need you up here. Yet has taken a few too many hits for my liking. Jedi are so freaking strong in this mod. Uh, I mean, I get why. I totally get why with the way that they're portrayed in the um, in the Clone Wars series. They're just wrecking machines. Come on, sabers! All right, I want all forces. All clone units, open fire. Actually, Sabres, you've got the better range. Start firing at that shield generator. Don't worry about Yoda. He's he's slicing droids up like crazy. Battlefront Commander 1.05, Rogue One and Rebel units. Is that out? Do they have um, Rogue One units in that now? I was unaware. Come on, Sabres. All right, the, the clones themselves can't actually, this is a good thing to note, can't actually reach. They don't have the range, weirdly enough. I would say the range is strange, but you know what? Watching the Clone Wars series, for some reason, the clones always fight at like, I don't know, 20 meters, to the point where even in the in the opening movie, they, one of them runs up and punches a B1. <laughs> the most ridiculous thing. Like, really? Really? Like, I love The Clone Wars as a series, but good grief, is that movie terrible? Is that original movie just bad? I like where you went eventually. Whew, did you take a roundabout way of getting there? All right, clones. We're pushing through. Heavies, can you can you fall back and, and deal with these B1s that are coming behind us? There we go. The Republic. We are rolling out. All right, nothing gets through the clone line. Come on, boys. Beautiful. We are pushing toward the production facilities now. I'm giving you the order to attack move. I wish I could give you more backup. I'd love to drop in a couple of lats now, but we don't have the space. Dun 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 dun. I have no idea why there's scrap metal floating in the air. I guess that's to represent that there's like scrap in orbit, maybe? Incredibly, incredibly low orbit. Sabers, move up. I'm keeping them in cover mode because they're just gonna keep spawning tanks. We're sneaking. This is like Looney Tunes style sneaking. Do, 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 do. Oh, the camera does not like all the wreckage all over the place. Oh, Yoda's already in there. He's like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna go do it myself. Surprise, they will be. Take him out, Yoda. You've got backup coming in. Oh, look! Look, it's one of the Krillian mining craft. AK, the Jawa Sandcrawler. See now you've got me interested with the whole. All right, don't don't wait. We've got we've got tanks. 
Let's take him down. Saber tanks just rush in. All right, locate the production facilities. We missed one. We missed. There's one right here. All clones. Open fire. Okay, you guys are staring at it longingly. Let's actually fire at it. <laughs> uh, oh, the saber tanks have got this. There you go. I don't. I don't know what's. I don't know. It's a dance off. Clone dance off going on. Whoop. Nope, 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 nope. Yoda, Yoda, get over here. We got a couple of tanks causing some troubles and a, and a crap ton of B1s. There we go. Um, seriously? Is there, what, what is this? What is this spam about a petition? Let's see. Cryptic Elements petition to reese the original Battlefront DLCs to Xbox One. Um. Interesting. Is it? Is it not? Wait, Battlefront One had DLC? Oh, are you talking about the the EA Battlefront? Not really following. Waiting, I am. Come on, boys. I know they're popping out tanks faster than we seem to be able to kill them. Let's just get a little bit more damage here. Now our fire rate is just through the roof. And then kill all the droids that come out. There we go. I could spawn in a lab, but I think we've got this in the bag. Or there, we're done. <laughs> a bit of a clone dance off there. And that chat's just getting up. Oh, we lost that heavy weapon squad. Probably got run over by one of the tanks. Wouldn't shock me. The planet is now ours, though. Um, I'm thinking we fall back to this planet and take it over next. We didn't have a bombing run. So, for for future reference, bombing runs, ISDs for some reason, and neither do victories. Oh, everything froze. Do not give you the bombing run ability. We also just crashed. So, it's it's really fortunate that this is the last episode, because as of the episode prior to this, the game has gotten really, really unstable. Uh, and I'm not quite sure why. Uh, we just crashed, and I don't have an... Ooh, I wonder where the autosave is. Let me relaunch. See what happens. See where we're at. I hope it autosaved after the battle, because I will auto-resolve auto that battle. It wasn't, it wasn't that interesting of a fight to go through it again. <laughs> Oh, man. Two crashes, two episodes. All right, options. We're going to launch the mod real quick. Ba, ba, ba. You couldn't have waited? You couldn't have waited till I could have gotten, like, another auto save before you crashed? Come on now. Yeah, I know, Tryon. The chances are it's going to be before the bell. That's where it always auto saves. Uh, the ultimate weapon of the CIS. I got a buzz droid in my rig. That's what happened. Well, that's not a good sign when the game crashes before it even loads into the mod. That's... Uh, I do what now? <laughs> um, what now? Forces of Corruption launch. Let's try that again. Yeah, we just got a crash. Republic of War 1.2, select. Relaunch. There we go. Now it's relaunched. It just didn't, it just decided to nope out and not actually launch the mod. And the fleet arrives. That is a cool intro though. You're listening 
the Republic Radio. Auto save. Oh, auto save. Where are you? Oh no. Oh yeah, it's before the battle. It's totally before the battle, isn't it? Oh, you are. You are. Okay, it's fine. No, we're fine here. Everything's everything's fine. Um, let's see. What do we? How do we want to handle this? What do we want to fight over next? Let's just boop doop do doop. Let's take over the rest of the planets that's got space stations on them. Let's knock out their ability to continue to attack us. Uh, we'll invade that planet. Maybe auto resolve that battle later on. Uh, we do have the two main planets up here. We've got them blockaded. We can actually move our forces together again. Shimon back. We now know that you're you're kind of worthless over here by yourself. So we're gonna just move these ground troops. Um, I, I left a saber tank in that group. Crap. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, Yalarin, I want you on the main attack force. So here's what we're gonna do. You get a Pelta, because honestly, don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with you Peltas. I don't, I don't find where your fleet niche is as much as I would in like any other um, strategy game. So go ahead, get over here. Yalarin, I want to wait for you, but I'm probably not gonna. Uh, we're gonna leave a Pelta here too. Your job, Peltas, are now to blockade. And uh, we'll leave the Saber Tank in orbit, because Raisin. Ground fleet? Complete. Where's the fleet at? Four Venators? That side. seems kind of weak. Enemy fleet Where? Where? No. 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 You're not allowed to attack me on that planet. That needs to be a rule from now on. Oh, damn. There's no way I'm going to get reinforcements there, is there? No. It's the freaking... It's the damn asteroid again. We just fought over this. This is why I'm rushing down there. Uh, okay, fine. Fine. I mean, I've got some... Some ships, like Renvar has got some ships. I'm so close. I'm so close. Ready, General. Did you make it? Nope, they're not there yet. Asteroid, fleet, it's about to be attacked again. There it is. Imminent. We're going after the asteroids. <laughs> Damn it. The fleet was literally on their way. Uh, let's see what they gave us this time though. Venator, victory, Venator. Available. Reinforcements on Good day, Captain and all. How goes the fight? May the fourth be with you. Uh, Nyko, it's going good. It's going good. We um, we fought over the asteroid field twice. Reinforcements so, if you're wondering, we're actually going to take the whole fleet up here because it's something different. We're going to counterattack them. Um, let's go. V-wings, clear the sky of any fighters that may be in our way. Arcs, I'm actually going to make you guys group. Group up and let's move out. Get a couple of ships over here just so we can see what's coming this direction. We can get the space station putting some fire down on it. Dreadnought, same as you. Go ahead and head over there. Um, there is nothing on this side. What? When have they not had ships? Unless they're back here. Are they back here? That's weird. Come on, Arx. There's four squadrons of you. I know you've got that in the bag. Well done. Well done, gentlemen. Um, whoa. Whatever was there is dead. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I've got nothing but Corvettes over here. Your worst nightmares. Let's move up. Dreadnought, just go into the middle. You're going to kind of be bait. There they are. There they are. Open fire. Take out his engines. Make sure they can't get away. Uh, you, hold position. You should be in range. Yeah, I see you firing. And the rest of you move in. We're gonna put a turret here. So from now on, if they ever attack this again, which I'm hoping I can take out their fleets before they have a chance to do it again, we will have, oh, they blew it up. We'll have turrets all the way back here. Apparently not. How we do it over here? Um, they hilariously have a dread, or a, uh, a destroyer coming through. Structure's engines. Let's keep him here. All fighters going for the tri-droids. How we doing in the north? Um, be beautifully, they're, they're, they're trying to go through the asteroid belt. Victory class, go ahead and fire. V-Wings, come over here and get some sweet, sweet revenge. As for you, you've almost got your blast ready, so there you go. Oh, you fired at the wrong target. Oh, um, impact incoming? Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Shoot through him. Don't let him get away. Or at least out of range. He's not really going to get away. 
Uh, three support ships on the right-hand side. You guys would take forever to swing around there, wouldn't you? Okay. All ships open fire. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, auto saves are always before the battle. It'd be nice if they did like a dual auto save, where it would kick off before the battle starts and then afterwards, but it's not really how it works. V-Wings, go ahead and take off to kill these guys. How are we doing over here? I know a lot of the support ships got through, but we've got an Arquintons to save the day. It'll be fine. Captain George has got this. Oh, there's a destroyer that actually made it through. Did he go through the asteroid to do it? He must have gone through the belt to do it. Crazy, crazy bastard. What happened? Hypervelocity cannon happened, and I decided not to just fall back and leave the core someplace else. I decided to push for it. We, we even mentioned it at the beginning of the battle as soon as I saw the hyperspace velocity cannon fire. And then hilariously, let's go ahead and kick that on. We almost made it, because for some reason he fired off like five hypervelocity cannons in that battle against the core. Like one right after the other almost. And then the very last shot that would have destroyed it, he didn't fire. And it waited until damn near we'd killed the space station and the supporting fleet, and then it decided, oh, you know what? Maybe the space station can take care of this entire fleet that's coming on this side. You guys are fine. You're fine. Now this Dreadnought's getting work done. These Dreadnoughts are a great investment. Especially for, like, cheap defense ships on the rim. Just buy a bunch of these. As long as they're not going to bring a carrier in, because if they bring a carrier in, you're kind of just screwed. If they bring in any of the loser hulks. Uh, can I get some more fire support over here, please? Uh, he's good, but he's not like, I'll do all of the work myself good. Especially with half of his weapons missing. He doesn't have the DPS anymore. Um, we are not casually flying past each other, guys. What? What are we doing here? What are we, clones just waving out the windows? Open fire with those cannons. There you go. As the engines literally break off. They're trying to run. Um, that's really hard to do when you don't have any engines. Speaking of engines, two seconds. No, no, just kill him. That makes it hard to run, too. We'll, we'll take that. I like this little battle group of Corvettes hanging out inside the asteroid field, flobbing missiles. Take that. Oh, did they abort? They aborted because they don't have any hyperspace drives left. Uh, you've already said that. Can you? You've, you've mentioned that multiple times. Thanks for the intel. Appreciate it. Uh, I even responded to it last time. Uh, they really, what is it, like one fighter? Yeah, it's one fighter. Chase that dry droid down. For some reason, this Republic fleet really hates that one squadron and it has to go. Oh, there we go. We got this. Uh, the Dreadnought looks like an elongated battle star with no pylons. I could see that. I mean, it's kind of the same concept. If you read the lore, it's it's this heavily armored old ship. Uh, that, okay, we should probably just grab a save real quick. Let's do 38. And resume. Uh, actually, don't resume, because they're just going to attack me again. Give me a second to figure out where we're going to go. Uh, we have the ground forces. We can begin a ground invasion on any planet we wish. i kind of more interested in taking the fleet over here and and freeing... You know what? Unit in production. Just, just a mix. Get yourself a mix of ships over here. Because she will even help out. We're going to send like an army of, of Arquintons over. Let's combine these two fleets and go for Jabim. Yeah, I like this plan. I like this plan, happy to be a part of it. Ready, so we have those fighter scouts and begin the invasion to free the asteroid belt from this CIS harassment. As for ground invasions, I mean, Raxus is probably a good one. Salvage, while well, this planet is controlled, all Republic vessels supply a 15% salvage bonus when destroyed. Due to the ship salvage... Oh, wow. That would have been nice when we lost the core. 
Construction complete. Come on, fleet, get over here. Get over here. Uh, and we have ground forces here. Do we not have another Jedi, like, ready to go? Tactical battle imminent. No, not yet. They're still on recharge. I was hoping to have a Jedi lead some of these ground invasions, but it looks like it's going to be pure clone. You have, like, no ground forces. No actual clones. I'm really not sure what's going on with this blue clone group with one of the separatist... I don't know how what's happening here. I really don't. Let's begin the battle up in the north. Let's do this. <laughs> There's a conversation about the, what is this? The, the clones developing technology, the Republic developing technology to crash the game to stop the separatist lag technology. All right, push forward. This acclimator is a trap. Intel says there could be as much He's just as like, look, it's it's just a transport. Come get it. Dig them all out. And I'm hyperspace. Choose everything in. Reinforcements. Maybe not everything. What are your orders? Yes, sir. I read your now they have had time to build up a proper fleet over here. Yes, General. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead and take him out. Really? You managed to hit him? How the anti fighter support do you actually have? I thought your accuracy was complete crap. All right, he, he's actually going to need a hand. He's going to die here if he doesn't get some backup. So let's go ahead and bring in some reinforcements. Um, this should be enough to handle any problems to the south. Go ahead and stay here. Overload your shield. Uh, I want to see what else they've got. And where might we come out of hyperspace? Go through the asteroid belt. Outrun those enemy fighters. They are faster than you. Oh, they're tri-droids. Of course, they're faster than you. Never mind. Carry on. Uh, we're going to give you a little bit more backup. That is a lot of bombers. Let's cause them some trouble. This should be within firing range, right? And just destroy them. Pop, 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 pop. Popping balloons. Beautiful. Well done. And you've taken out the support ship. This is a good little fleet. And you've managed to get into position. I think it's time to bring in the proper battle group to take out the space station. So enemy fleet hopefully will continue to come down to the south. I'll actually move you up and move your support up. Um, while we prepare. Coming around. Coming around. I actually do need you to come around, so hard to starboard. Sir. Star Destroyer standing by. Because you're going to be engaging. You Get you yes, some sight. Sight right, beyond general. sight. Yes, there, On a target. Wow. On, First salvo. Shields down. That's beautiful. Star you are in range now. Stay there. More firepower is... Can I not... Uh, there's the sweet spot. Hyperspace, you in now. Double the cannons. Begin the siege. Alright, it's time to slowly push forward and take out the support fleets that are here. Alright, come about. Come about. People are so angry I lost the pride. I'm over here like, ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Man, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I mean, I like the pride. I'm not I'm not huge with the whole center fleet. Like, you've got to have the one. Oh, my goodness. What in the world is happening over here? All right. Reinforcements are en route because it's all of the fighters they've got over there. Um, I just wanted to get those heavy cannons in range. Yeah, take out those fighters. Take out those bombers. I think Yalaren's ready to come in. He's like, no, I'm done. Let's take it. Let's bring in a battle group. Nah, do I want to do it? Do I want to be really ballsy about this? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, you know, Superstar Destroyers, those kind of ships, they, they kind of force you into a very particular play style when you've got, like, a center ship. Like, this is the, the ship of the fleet. Uh, it has the firepower of a fleet by itself. I don't know. It, it takes away some of your options. Because now you're there to support that one ship, right? I think it may be one of the reasons why I've never... I don't play the, the, the Empire as much, because I find myself always focusing so much on their largest strength, which is their Star Destroyers. They're all in one um, battle group. Whereas the Rebels, you've got to use this mixed bag and then use those individual ships to their to their advantage. 
uh, to get the most out of a rebel fleet. Empire is very much, you know, support. Make sure you support those capital ships. Support those capital ships. Republic's like that too. I mean, we're except for even their capital ship is multi-role. Their their best, their frontline cruiser is, in all honesty, a, a carrier battleship. Right? It's a carrier battleship. It's got multiple roles. You got to be serious. I guess this ISD is in a way the same, but I, it's, it's so much more focused, so slow, and so much more focused on those heavy turbo lasers. Uh, to, to great effect, because I mean, look at that. That space station got wrecked mostly by those ISDs. Let's be honest. Comes out of hyperspace and destroys a droid carrier in two hits. No shields for you. All right, return. Pause it. Ba, 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 ba. That leaves us one planet remaining. We need to get a larger fleet over here. Because uh, we need to continue to blockade. And we need to do the ground invasions here. And Bestine. Is Bestine... Is the city of Bestine on Tatooine named after the planet Bestine? Or is it weirdly the other way around? I doubt it would be the other way around. Let's do... Clones. We need clones. All right, now begin your invasion. Let's see if we can take this planet. Invasion. Bigger warships are better, so says Kim Kimage86. Begin the battle. Oh, did I just see that stack? Oh, no. Oh, no. Remember, this planet has been blockaded for some time, and it's only had one thing that it could do this entire time, and that was build. Oh, we're a one out of three on this? Are you kidding me? All right, let's grab the turrets. Are there any turrets? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're all about the large capital ships, I dig it. I see it. Oh, we are so screwed. Now run. Lead them away from the, the things that they just blew up. Separate. Separate. This is going to be a fallback instantly. Mission. Did you find any, any anti-air? Run away. Run away. Nope. Maybe it'll finish. But they're gonna one-shot it. Even if it was finished building, they could still one-shot it. One oh, we got it. Build that. Run away. Run away. No, 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 no. Just up oh, and they one-shot it. Okay. Okay. The damn assault ships I hate these things so much. Not to mention they've got walkers too. Don't mind the walkers as much. That's just their heavy art. Oh god. Not really sure what I want to bring on here. Anything I build, they're gonna one-shot. Like, let's think about this for a minute. Um, I could bring in... Hmm. I could bring in an ATTE. I don't think it can shoot high enough to hit one of those. It even says weak against. Uh, I could bring in a lat. If they don't kill it before it actually takes off, they still... The lats aren't as strong. They'd also be outnumbered uh, three to one. Hmm. The heavies might be able to do it. They may not die as quickly. Bring out the heavies. Yeah, Loyal Tenno says bring out the... Somebody likes some Warframe. Uh, bring, out, bring out the heavies. That may be the way to go. Or we're going to lose these heavies. We could bring out two groups. Unless he dies. Turret constructing. Maybe we can distract them. I'm gonna try it. We'll try heavies. Heavy's got the rockets. Run. And you just one shot at both of those with one rocket. Nice. Okay, you distracted them long enough. Troops are on the deck. Fire. Uh, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Fire at the ones you can see. Fire at the ones you can see. Oh boy, you've almost killed one out of nine. Come on, get in range, get in range. Nicely done. Okay, separate. Oh, gonna be a fire we killed one. We killed one. This is going great. There they come again. Here they come. Uh, we've lost, I think, two of our rocket infantry. See if we can get some of this anti-air. You can bring in another one. I'm, I'm trying it. I'm trying it, guys. Oh, we killed another one. Give him something else to worry. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, boy. Fire! Fire! Come on, boys! Come on, kill him! 
I mean, if anybody can take out the tanks. Well, that squad's dead. The heavies didn't do... Oh, look at the range. He doesn't come into firing range. We're kind of in trouble here. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to fight this. As silly as this may be, we're out of heavies, too. Oh, they've got MTTs. Mistakes were made. Because look at the damage that thing just did. Not the MTT. That was this that just did that damage. Unless he can get the heavy cannon firing. Even if he does. Blar! And they're on the spawn point. Can you hit him or are you going to shoot under? You're shooting under. You're not doing any damage. Okay. Oh, that was bad. That was real bad. Oh, man. We only got two of the air wings, too. There's still another one on the ground. That was painful. Well, I, I wouldn't even have been able to build the back to tank. You saw them one-shotting anything that I put down there. Uh, let's grab some ground forces. Let's pick up... Constructing unit. I want I want these to work, right? I know it even says that it's weak against the uh, the the aircraft, but this thing has the uh, the laser defense system that can shoot down missiles. Sadly, they shoot such a large cluster, it can't take all the missiles down at one time. So that's the thing. Let's grab more heavies, please. That's why that's why some of these ground battles have to be on resolved. Jedi are basically immune to them. Um, not last time I tried. Why do you think they're all dead? Oh, no, that was the one before this. This was an auto-resolve. Uh, the one before this where I lost all of the Jedi, it was a strafing run of two squadrons of those heavies, of those um, assault ships. They strafed in and just wrecked my Jedi. I thought they'd be good against it, too, or at least tank the damage for a little while. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I'm, I'm, I kind of want to just honor resolve this battle and not deal with it. Um, it'll be costly. First things first. Are these mine? Sir, yes, sir. yes. Even though they were lit up blue. Training. Even though for some reason I've got one of those aircraft with us. See what happens. Yeah, they joined up with the fleet. I could use their own OP unit against them. I could go to the dark side. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Let's get the fleet moving. You stay put here. Rest of the fleet. On your order. Go, 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 go. You can get there fast enough. I never have to fight over the asteroids again. We'll continue our campaign. I don't know how I got that air wing. Like, what happened to give us that unit? Something bugged out. I have 15. I have 15 saber tank squadrons here. Oh, what? One of those planets I just kept building units, apparently. Um, man, I kind of just want to throw those down over and over until we win. I don't think that would work, though. Hmm. Yes. Let's fight for this. So or not. Oh, he's back. He's back from out of space. Crap. We do have a... We actually have a battle group just for him. Auto resolve. Okay. Hunt down trench. Begin the battle. We've got a group just waiting. Dun, 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 dun. And there's the fleet. Something fun about the fleet all coming out of hyperspace at one time. Launch all fighters, locate trench, last intel. Intel says there could be as much as a full battalion of droids. Intel is wrong. Intel should suggest that there is a trench with a modified Providence class cruiser over here. And that we are the hunting party of the trench. Once again, Spider-Man has arrived. I should probably speed this up because he may try to make a run for it. V-Wings, move up. I need you to give us a fighter screen for our arcs. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cruise mode. Where is he? Five seconds. Engines. Go for the engines. Go for the engines. Torpedoes away! They never hit. Oh, man. Where is he going to run to? It's got to be the nearest friendly planet, right? That's going to be far. One that's not blockaded. Uh, and they don't share the hyperspace land, so you don't know where he goes. It's going to have to be... Oh, that means he's going to be in one of these fights over here now once he makes it. Or we'll ambush him once he comes out of hyperspace, because it's going to be a long time. 
ba, ba. All right, begin the battle. Maybe. Fleet's arrived. That's a big fleet. They could have some loser hulks here from before I took over their uh, their shipyards. We'll see. Begin battle. Check arcs are heavy fighters. They operate in this as bombers. I mean, you can use whatever whatever lore name you want to use for them, but they operate in this as bombers as your highest damage dealing subsystem targeting unit. So, since I'm using them in that fashion, that's why I call them bombers. Just to keep things not confusing for people. Actually, they're recon units. If you really want to get technical. Yes, sir. Oh, they have hyperspace drives. Uh, all right. Really? You're gonna run? Oh, they're, they're stacking a doom, a doom fleet, aren't they? Let's bring the ISD in. Locate the enemy forces. See how many we can kill before they can... Damn. Listen to all that. I wonder if those are ground forces. That's why the stack is so big. Because why wouldn't they fight? Huh. We took out a... Yeah, they got to be ground forces. That must have been the ISD when it came out of hyperspace. Took out a heavy artillery gun in a transport and a droid, a repair droid. Instead of a medical droid, it's a repair droid. <laughs> cool. All right, we blockaded it. We can bring in reinforcements now. And Obi-Wan. Let's do that. We're ready for battle, sir. Because we're chances are they're building up a larger fleet every time I take a planet and they fall back. The, battle, the defense fleet of another planet gets bigger and bigger. We are getting closer and closer to victory. Ready, There's the fleet. Who's in charge? Uh, Obi-Wan, you're gonna be our scout from now on. I'm on my way. And the fleet is en route. Sir. <gasps> no, we moved the whole thing. No, what have I done? Mistakes were made. The no. Hopefully you can get there before the space station is built, but it's questionable how long CIS space stations take to build because they seem to pop up like, like grass growing. Um, all right. A enemy fleet of some variety. And I will make an effort to use the stealth. Shit. How do you rotate the camera? There is an option that you need to turn on for advanced camera controls, and then it is left and right click, and you'll be able to rotate the camera. Wah! Or, for if you're just using default That's controls, let's grab Obi-Wan here. Let's get him out of the nebula. There's no copy in that nebula. Hit C while having a unit selected, or your mouse over a particular unit, and it'll let you rotate. If the unit goes too fast, it won't let you rotate, like this problem right here. So. Keep that in mind. Are you thinking what um, we can see the whole map. What are they doing? Are They're trying to run. They're trying to run. We shall be there shortly. Shall be there shortly. Right away. There's something deliciously pompous about the, the voice actor for Reporting. the the Imperial class Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer standing by. I, I love it. It's just so fitting. Um, all right, let's go ahead and come out of hyperspace. On your order. Try not to end up in one of these uh, black holes, because they will actually eat us. Uh, Obi-Wan, do me a favor and not die. Obi-Wan defending Star Destroyers. That hurts my soul just a little bit. Wow, we need support ships now. We've got so much coming this way. Support fleet is inbound. I hate to bring more ships out of hyperspace uh, in the middle of the fight, but I need something to soak up the damage so we don't lose any of these ISDs. So look at all of the transports. This is the last, this is the last, gotta be the last. Oh my God, there's so many of them. I got worried for a second, didn't realize they are all nothing but hard cell transports. Battle group, we just, it is a slaughter. It is a separatist droid slaughter. The support ships are sort of a threat, but honestly, we can just turn on all broadsides and open up on them. There is a group of frigates in the back and a carrier. The carrier's almost dead. Uh, both of our ISDs have full shoot. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? What are you, do no. Uh, the maw eats a ship. And this is why we don't go into black holes. This is what happens when we don't. Uh, this is what happens when we, when we pathfind poorly, okay? 
be that a lesson to the rest of you, fleet. That is mutiny when you guys decide to just turn around randomly. <laughs> and I will send you into a black hole. Oh, whoa, that was weird. Spectator cam nonsense. And here is victory for the Republic right here. I don't know if we'll have another battle like this before the campaign is over, but just all of those transports being completely wrecked. The fighter squadrons are now actually paying attention to the space station. We're gonna bring these Venators up and around, take out the last of their support vessels. Uh, I don't really wanna give you guys orders to move, because I think you'll be doing something dumb. Uh, Yolaren, I have a, I have a mission. Here goes, command. I don't know if you might be able to hear it, but. All ships, fire at will. Engage the space station. <laughs> so there is some fun stuff being developed over on the Discord right now by a few mod authors who are sitting in uh, uh, the Armco Discord. They've been working on a Star Wars Space Engineers mod collection. Uh, everything from new cockpits, like the A-Wing cockpit, uh, to uh, I saw some, some work on a Y-Wing, to custom TIE model that's going in. Um, there is even the potential. I don't know if it's being fully worked on. Um, I haven't gotten an update, but he talked about how it wouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, Lucas is working on, or was working on, a spawning kind of uh, script. So we may see like Imperial Battle Group spawning in. Uh, so that, speaking of Star Wars news on Star Wars Day, uh, that is something that's being worked on by the Discord modding community. And hopefully we'll see maybe in the future a Space Engineers survival um, kind of weekend streams or something in the future. I think that'd be a lot of fun. There's our one loss. And I'd love it if it said two wormhole right here. Not to this, not to all of these enemy forces that could have potentially shot it. Nope, nope, nope. It flew into a wormhole. You you sit in that system and think about what you've done. All right, are we gonna be okay with this? Yes, we made it before they built anything. The mall has changed hands. It is now in the control Building under construction. of... Oh, there he is. We must be in sensor range of one of my systems or something. That's Trench. He's gone all the way across here. That is a long hyperspace trip. So, the mall. How are we doing on fleet? I feel like we're okay. We can leave a support ship here, Pelta. Forever the Pelta. For we're gonna go for Kessel. I'm on my way. Ready for battle, sir. And then it only leaves us with one Nalhutta, which uh, in this period should be a neutral planet, but apparently not. Oh, really? Really? Auto resolve that. There's one. Let me guess, you flew into a black hole, didn't you? Came out of hyperspace poorly. Enemy fleet. Where? The Maw. Uh, no. <laughs> Just. Just. They took it. And. It's Trench. Round two. Us versus Trench. He hyperspaced away from an enemy fleet. This is from his perspective. He hyperspaced away from an enemy fleet to run into an enemy fleet. That's how you know the Separatists are losing. <laughs> We've got you cut off on all sides. Uh. The only problem with most mods in Forces of Corruption is AI pathfinding. Yeah, I'm there with you. I mean, there's other issues just with the base game. And it's kind of an issue with age, right? Um, ground battles are always kind of subpar compared to space. Master Yoda foresaw this. Apparently he did. Locate Trench, Obi-Wan. I love that it's you locating Trench. Uh, and we will send you reinforcements immediately. Go ahead and uh, go into cruise mode. You need to locate the target, hopefully quickly. How does one lose a giant Providence class? Maybe he'll fly into a black hole and, and save us a lot of trouble. There he is, we've located him. And a couple of support vessels. When did you have time? Uh, you know what, I don't even, I don't even. We're doing this, we're doing this. I know we're coming out of hyperspace into the fire, but it's not the only ship. Pause, we're going to go in because he's gonna run. He's trench. He's gonna run. So we are not going to wait around to get into firing range. We are coming into firing range and we are gonna throw everything at the wall and see if we can vent him into space. Um, oh man, this is as far as close we can get. 
All right, let's get some of the fleet in here. There we go. And we should have some space. No? Is it because of the black holes? Probably because of the black holes. All right, if we have to be this far back, let's put victory classes then. A battle group of missily doom. And oh, if I can just get a spot to surround them in Star Destroyers. Engines. Everybody go for in. Nah, you're fine. You already took out the engines. Never mind. Never mind. You're all doing fine. Broadside. That target. Yalarin has a special command for you guys just for this. I think this actually buffs their damage output. Um, oh, come on. You got to do it before he dies. All ships fire at will. Oh, that's what I did last time, and I think that's what got the victory class destroyed. Yeah, you'll be fine. Keep firing. Oh, that's one big providence. Please let a black hole eat him. I wish. Didn't happen, though. Too slow. He'll never get into range one, especially with his engines damaged. Chuck, are you going to get into Star Citizen soon? Yeah. I'm not sure when, but I do plan on doing it. There's, what is left? I would give you guys orders to go hunt the target, but uh, I have a feeling you'll end up getting eaten by a black hole. All units hold your position. There's one squadron up here. They're hiding in the nebula. Oh, boy. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. System conquered. That leaves us with one more station here and one here. And I think we've locked everything down. Indeed we have. That will be the end. Who's in the lead of the fleet right now? Okay, Obi-Wan still has good. Let's give a Pelta. And here goes the last, second to last space battle. When's the next X3 episode? So that series isn't scheduled. It's just whenever I have time to record and then edit them up. <laughs> Till next time, Spider-Man, MJ says. Uh, weird sparkles in the background. Got a decent fleet here. Fortunately, their programming is rudimentary at best. So, uh, it'll be soon. It'll be soon. I've even got that one edited. I just need to upload it. Um, but I have to have an opening spot for it, too. So, it'll probably be beginning of next week. Maybe Monday. Persistence? Because we've basically won the war. We just gotta finish up these last few remaining holdouts. Separatist holdouts. Beginning huh, okay. I guess they're in firing range. That's frightening. Oh, we're in firing range. Look at that. Look at that just eating through the shield on that destroyer. He is getting reinforcements. Let's move a little bit closer. B-Wings, go ahead and move up. Uh, let's move Yalarin here. Let's start bringing in the heavy guns. Blockade. No one gets away. Surround the station and firepower. This, this is the pure might of Coruscant. There's a nice shot. This isn't bad. We're totally winning this battle. Another ship goes down. What is left? Oh, just the space station. All right, you learn. Give me the, give me the order. All units, open fire on the space station. Yeah, they can't make any more donuts. No more loose rocks. We've taken out all of their production facilities. So all of they've got is like frigates, destroyers, basically anything uh, smaller than that. 
Uh, is he really trying to run? Oh, he's still alive. There's still an engine there. Yep, not anymore, there's not. Or there's no ship there anymore. One transport got away. Uh, Fortnite 4, how much is the game? Ah, what is the game going for on Steam now, guys? Because isn't there a May the 4th sale on Star Wars games right now? I, I know in the US there is. I don't know what it's going for. It's gotta be cheap though. And it's either here or GOG. I recommend the Steam version because it's got workshop support, so it's a one-click download for a lot of the mods, like the one you're watching right now. Um, we are down to, of course, I'm not, not sponsored or anything by any of these groups. I just enjoy the game quite a bit. All right, now Hutta. And this is it, guys. This is the last battle. Now Hutta is the last piece of Separatist territory that has access to any kind of shipyard. Our fleet is en route. We're ready for battle, uh, you know, we never fought the Magnificent in this. I guess it's not in this... Either it's not in the mod, maybe it's in the Clone Wars mod only. I know it's in the Clone Wars mod. We fought in the Clone Wars mod. I thought it was in Republic at War. Tactical battle imminent. Wow, that's all you've got left, huh? That's it. It's five pounds over on the Humble store. Five euros, six euros. Everybody's a little all over the place today. It's like seven bucks. Just go over on Steam. Take a look. It'll tell you. It'd be, it'd be easier than trying to ask chat because you're going to get all the regional costs. I highly recommend it, though. For five bucks or even ten bucks, there are so many mods to play and so many great mod teams working on stuff for this. Hello, Space Station. Oh, shazbot. Let's do this. Let's go. I mean, there is kind of a point in the campaign where you get to that that level of firepower that it's like, hmm, I don't, I, I've got the upper hand now. And I'm really happy that Republic of War kind of went back and forth for a bit uh, toward the mid game. Like this campaign went really well. Uh, there were points where I was like, I may not win this because suddenly I was winning, winning, winning. And then suddenly they're like, oh, hey, guess what? We we have looser hulks and we've suddenly realized how to use them to, to all of my dismay. And that makes the campaign fun. When I don't know if I can win, that's when it's fun. Wow, Star Destroyer, you're kind of taking a lot of damage. We're gonna put in uh, a small battle group down here. A little bit of Orville, or fire support from range, and then small ship battle group, because we can push them north and start doing extra damage. And you're, you've got the engines to get up there. So let's get you guys in. Um, oh, you and your multi-targeting, you need to just stop that right now. Shields are holding. All right, I need command of everyone. Open fire. Form up. Form up. Can I get some more Venators? You guys can't get around each other right now, so. All units, open fire on the space station. Get a little bit more fire support. The rest of the fleet should be in range. Excellent. Oh, wow, you hold position. I know he gave you orders to open fire, but Ouch. It looks like he just crashed through that Separatist frigate. He just ripped it in half with tractor beams or something. That was pretty neat. Bum, bum, bum. All right. That's, that's enough, enough spamming with the whole petitions or whatever's going on. That's enough of that shootout against. There we go, guys. There is the last battle. So let's take a look at the map. We've got, I think we've got everything blockaded, right? Let's like, well, we can just let it run because if they can't attack, other than um, maybe hero spawns. Yeah, hero spawns would be the only thing that they can get and it would be trench. So we have managed to take the core, take the mid rim. They've only got planets on the outer rim now. Uh, and we've taken over every space station. So that's Republic at War, the second series uh, for Republic at War for the mod. This is the newest version, at least, that I have played. I found it over on the workshop. You guys can find it there, too. Also, head on over to the Mod DB page. You can find it on there. I will be streaming some more today. I'm actually going to be playing uh, Arma 3 with the community. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hear that it's a lot more stable now than it was in the last stream we did. Uh, I don't know what the mission is going to be. I think it's clone-based. 
So anticlimactic. It, it always is. Like that's the problem with big campaigns like this, um, where where it just kind of you have these great battles, but they're always like mid or mid late game where you you may not be able to win, you may not be able to to, to to pull out a victory, and you could still lose the campaign. But once you've gotten the ball rolling, you start steamrolling planets, and yeah, you kind of get that like it's over. That's why a lot of campaigns for this, I'll just say, all right, guys, we, we have obviously won and ended it. But we pushed this one even farther than that. The next one, I, I kind of want to play uh, either Thrawn's Revenge, the newest version of that. It's got some really neat mechanics built into it. Or, like I was saying before, um, Awakening of the Rebellion, if the alpha version for Alpha Testers comes out, um, which I've been told is the build-up for the proper release. So... Yeah, it's gonna be good times. I love this camera. I so rarely get to use this this camera because it's the constant attacks when we're playing Republic at War because the AI is like that. But, all right guys, I will see you in, I believe it's about four hours, three hours and 40 minutes until the next stream starts. Um, that's when we're going to be doing the Arma 3 Star Wars mod. We have freed the galaxy. We've united the Republic, fought back the Separatists, and brought everybody back under uh, the flag, the banner of the Republic. So, all right, guys. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already to support the channel and help more people find this. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next campaign and stream. So, yeah, do Thrawn's Revenge. Do a new Republic campaign. If I did Thrawn's Revenge, what do you guys think I should do? Like, what side should I play? I was leaning New Republic. But of course I am. Bah, Empire could be fun. I'm, I'm interested. Get my Quasars. My Quasar carriers. And my Mon Cal's. At least for a little while. We didn't found, we didn't found the Empire. There was no Order 66. Even, well, actually, most of the shit I heard dead at the end of the campaign here, but... All right, everybody, I will see you in the next one. Later, everybody.